Leanne V and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about lashes. I'm so excited because I love lashes. I wear lashes every day. I know a lot of people ask me, how the heck do you put on lashes every day? But it's become second nature. It's so easy for me to put them on. So I'm excited to share how I put them on with you. So here it is. So I'm going to start with sharing a few of my favorite lashes here. I love the Bella lashes. They're really, really cute and light. The Stelazi lashes have a lot of great options to pick from. I love their lashes. They're really good, like everyday lashes too, but these ones are a little bit wispy. I absolutely love Flutter lashes. Flutter lashes are super, super cute. Um, it really just depends on my mood what lashes I'm gonna use. One of my favorite everyday lashes are from Dollar Lash Club, and this one is called Caitlyn. I'm gonna unbox it like so. <laughs> the way you take off the lashes is very important because you do not, do not want to rip them and ruin them because I've done it many times when I'm in a hurry and I'm just like, uh, oh crap, I ruined my lash. So I always like to either fold it in the middle like this and I grab it from the middle and slowly pull to the outside and then to the other side, boom. And there's always extra glue, so you just wanna kind of pick it off. I always pick it off with my nails. I have to be very careful. So lashes are always too long for my eyes. It's, I think it's great that they do have you know, the long lashes just because everyone has different shapes of eyes. I have a little bit of shorter eyes, so I get the tweezers and I measure them. I pretty much know the size of my eyes so I can just clip it, but for those that are doing this for the first time, I get some tweezers and I put it on my eye. And you can see the thing I hate with lashes is when they poke you right in the corner because then they irritate me all day and I just can't. So I make sure that I trim the front and the back. I love the length because it usually gets longer toward the end. So I try to trim more for the front and then a little bit from the back. So I already know right here, I need to cut and right here. Okay, so then I take it off my eye. Get some little scissors. I trim just the front of it. And then I trim the back. Then again, you want to try it on your eye. And that is the perfect length. Sometimes the lashes tend to go straight and you don't want that because when it's straight, and you glue it on your eye, the ends of them, the ends of the lashes raise. So I'll wrap it around my finger and it automatically helps it curve. So I usually use the duo glue, but today I'm using the Ardell Lash Grip. I love the glue that is dark. I just like the dark glue because I wanna make sure that it dries dark. I'll put the glue on the tip. So I never wanna put the lash directly on my eye right away. I like to let the glue dry up a little bit. So I'll put the lash down and I'll work on the next lash. So now the lash is ready and how I place it, I love using tweezers so I can really get in there. You just press and you can pretty much move your lashes around until you are happy. I hate when I put my lashes on and you can see that it's lifting and coming off. So I really make sure that I put it really, really close to the root of my eyelash. And I do a really funny thing. People laugh at me all the time when they do makeup with me. I blow on my eyelashes like this. You can try it at home and you'll see it'll work. <laughs> if it doesn't work, I suggest getting a fan and just fanning. Other than that, you can just blow on them like I do. <laughs> oh, see, sometimes the lashes don't cooperate, but it's okay. You gotta take your time and be patient and it's always worth it. Another tip that I like to do is take the tweezers and I squeeze my lashes with the false C lashes so I can make sure that they're stuck together. Usually just the front and the back, just making sure the corners are secure. You gotta secure the lashes. See, when I made a mistake right here where you can see a little bit of the glue, sometimes what I'll do is just grab a little wet wipe Lightly rub on the glue. You wanna get like a concealer brush or something like this. I use the LA Girl Pro Conceal. And I'll slowly cover up the mistake that I made. Then I pat it just to blend a little bit. And I set it with a little bit of powder. 
Right now I'm going to use the Studio Fix by MAC. Just a little bit with a beauty blender. Boom. Now that the lashes are done, the next step that I like to do is add a little bit of eyeliner over the lashes, like the lash strip, just so that you can't see the glue. I hate when you can see the glue. I want it to look as natural as possible. I just take the tip of the liner and I go over the strip. And I'll go in the corner of my eye. Now it looks super clean. And lastly, second to the last, this is another trick I've learned from my friend Ash. She's an amazing makeup artist. She said, you can do this after and create a lash lift. So for me, I took the tip of my nail. You can use anything the tip of your tweezers, but I'm gonna use my nail. And I put it right at the corner, right here at the end. Let it dry just a little bit, or you could do a little trick I do. It works, whatever works for you. <laughs> you wait for it to dry just a little bit, and when you are ready, you just press like this. Instant eye lift. As you can see, it's a very subtle lift. This one has more of the lift, this one does it. And lastly, I like using the eyelash curler if I don't do this. So you wanna make sure all of your lashes are in there and Lightly curl because you don't want to over curl your lashes. This lash curler is Lancome and you can get that at Sephora. Ooh, it's magic. I love eyelash curlers. Okay, and the last, last, last thing I like to do is get my eyeliner. And I pretty much go right underneath my eyelashes and do one final fill in so it looks more full. And there you have it. Usually I will also put mascara, depending if I want more of a natural look or if I want to go a little bit darker, I put on mascara. And this is mascara from Tarte. Lights, camera, flashes. So that completes my lash tips and tricks tutorial. I hope you guys learned something and I hope this information was helpful. Make sure you comment below, let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, so today I'm shooting with Nathan James. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm here shooting some dope content. Can't wait to share it with you guys.